what we have we have a uh, basically first law of thermodynamics and this first law of thermodynamics will tell you du is equal to del q minus del w and the beautiful part is that this q and w is depend on the external parameter basically this dq is nothing but the heat given to the system or heat absorbed and similarly this del w will tell you all about the basically your uh, work done on the system or work done by the system depends on the condition but the good thing is that we have one information about the internal energy and that internal energy is nothing but del q minus del w whatever heat you are giving to the system that is converted into two part one is work done and change in internal energy and both the thing is going to be simultaneous and second your definition will come from the second law of thermodynamics and where we have a concept of entropy and this entropy for the irreversible process is greater than zero and for the reversible process this entropy is equal to zero this is for the irreversible process and this is for reversible process and once we have all this condition then we can define this entropy in a thermodynamical system is all about del q upon t is entropy that is change in entropy and from here we can find del q is equal to t into ds and please mind it this del q is not a path dependent system this is not path dependent rather they are path independent well this s is what path independent sorry they are path dependent but this s is what path independent so this whole quantity is what path independent and somehow we just try to understand this s is nothing but they are those energy which is not available for the work we have done this thing and what we will do we will just try to take first law and second law together and we have a uh, expression of du and this du is equal to tds minus pdv and here we have this du is identified as internal energy and it is path independent and they are point function and they are assumed to be path point function and they are assumed to be perfect differential and you is just try to give your expression of energy with the variable s and v you can find u as a function of s and v so what do we have u is function of basically s and v now you can see this thing from here ds change in s and change in v and u can be function of written s and v mathematically you can write v as a function of p and t and this kind of situation you can create but actually if you will go for the generic then this du is equal to t ds minus p dv